Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have 20 items that sold on eBay in 10 days or less. So I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. These are going to range from bread and butter to, I think there's some big money. Um, what I consider big money is $35 or more. That's how I do it for my videos. So you can also check out my channel for bread and butter videos, which are things that sold for 35 or less. And then my big money bolo videos are items that sold for $35 or more. So that's how I break it down on this channel. So we are going to get started right now. This is the third time I have tried this video. Um, so let me know, do you like to see the items that sold fast? And you will see these in a future video on a what sold video because um, I want to break it down like in time frames. So um, this I just kind of went through and pulled quick listings. So they'll be married in. All right, you guys, thank you again for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and let's get started. All right, the first item, I got this at a garage sale. I paid $1.50 for it. It was missing one screw. Um, it's a Eden Pure hard water softener treatment system. I have no idea what it does, but it sold for a best offer of $50. Buyer was all in for $61.75 and it sold in two days. How awesome is that? The next item that this one actually really surprised me. Um, my husband got these out of an, a lot from an estate. Um, he bought the whole lot of jewelry and I was just kind of nitpicking and I'm like, I'll list some stuff for you. And I listed these and they sold in one day. So can anybody who's into jewelry, please tell me why these sold so fast. Did I sell them too cheap? Um, they're Coro brand, which is C-O-R-O. -O, and they are clip-on earrings. Here, let me try to zoom in here for you. And I was just shocked. I mean, they didn't sell for crazy big money or anything like that. Um, it says 1584, but I sold them for $20. So I don't know why there's a discrepancy there. Um, I don't know. And unless maybe my sale wasn't on when they made the offer, that's the only thing I can think of. And then when I accepted my sale was on, I don't know. But uh, $20, the buyer was all in for $25.20 and they sold in one day. I mean, I remember thinking the same thing when I pulled up the listing and I went back and confirmed it sold for $20, so I'm not sure. The next item is this Boyd's Bears, the Shoebox Bears Flutterby Bear Jointed Resin Figure. It's in the original box. It is numbered on the foot and I do this with the tape measure so everybody knows just how big it is. Um... I think I undersold this. I think I should have held out. I ended up taking a best offer of $12. The buyer was all in for $18.75. I mean, I got this out of a mystery box. I've been doing pretty good over on Mercari with these. So I think I should have um, put it on Mercari. I did put it on Mercari, but I think I should have waited a little longer and priced it higher. The next item are these vintage brown bag Christmas cookie art mold Santas. So I was listing these during a live show on my reseller testing Bolo products. If you guys are not following me on that channel, I do live working hangouts where I list. There's a link down in the description. Definitely check that out. It's kind of like a list with me. You guys come and you list while I list and you can comment in the chat. It's really a good time. Um, I've really enjoyed doing it. So if you guys want to come hang out, that would be great. These... I wasn't sure what to do, to be honest with you guys. They weren't really comping very well, like individually. Some of them can go for decent money. So always look them up. But I decided, I'm like, you know what? It's going to be a little bit of a pain because I'm going to want to make sure that I bubble wrap them a lot and then secure the package because they're going to be sitting on top of each other and they are, they can break. So I wasn't really excited about the breakables, but I listed these, you guys, and they sold in one day for $60. The buyer was all in for uh, $85.28. So I was really excited to see them move. And when I listed them, I went ahead and packaged them. So when they sold, um, it was I, I bubble wrapped them. And then all I had to do was put them in a box and finalize the, you know, space void. This is a Radica Solitaire handheld game. 
Um, I believe I got this at a thrift store for like 50 cents or a dollar. I can't remember. I sold it for $39.60, full asking price. And the buyer was all in for $49.70 and it sold the same day. So these little handheld games can definitely be a bolo. The next item came in this big Mr. Potato Head thing that I got. And I ended up just getting rid of the big container and pulling out what I thought I could salvage. Um, it looked like maybe a dog had chewed on a couple things. So um, I got rid of those parts. But this is, I think there it's a dog and a cat. I, I don't know if it's two dogs. Not really sure. But this sold fast. So uh, this sold in eight days for a best offer of $12. The buyer was all in for $19.40. And this came out of a thrift store mystery box. The next item, um, this one was a nice surprise. I was looking through a bag of toys. This is Toki Doki Hello Kitty Series 1. And I think I was listing this during a live show. And I was going to go back and research it a little more. And I think I forgot and listed it just at the price that I had. You can see here there's a defect on the eye. So I put it at $25 and put it on sale for 28% um, off. And it sold for full asking of 18 and it sold in one day, you guys. So I may have undersold this. The buyer was all in for $24.52 for this item. The next item came out of a mystery box from Auctions for You. And again, I think I undersold it because it sold the same day for full asking price of $18. The buyer was all in for $24.90 for this. Um, you guys, it's it's a little bit damaged. You can see right here, like the teeth are missing, I think, from the top. I I don't know. It must be special. Maybe I should have done an auction. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. It is from 1990. So the next item is so cute. It's this dandy animated musical poodle. Anytime I find anything animated, I pick it up and I test the product over on my reseller testing Bolo products. I show you guys how it works. And then I add a video to my listing to show my buyers how it works. Um, this was so cute. You can check it out over on that channel. But I sold this for um, $35 and the buyer was all in for $46.75 and it sold in six days. And I picked this up at a thrift store for $2. And I just realized that one of my items is missing. So... Um, I must have accidentally deleted it. So bummer. Um, this Santa, you guys, if you missed it, I got this at a garage sale for $10. It is a vintage um, Harold Gale Santa. It's a store display. Let me show you the bottom here. It says display. And it is rare and hard to find. And he's got some condition issues. You can see right here. Um, and he was missing his tree. He still sold for $588, you guys on auction so seven days and it had 21 bids how amazing is that the next item is this uh little vintage mma if you ever see mma that means metropolitan museum of art and this is a 1985 scaredy cat pendant and i did find some of these on ebay but they were like pins like uh like a brooch and this was the only one that was like a pendant uh, this is a caliper. I use this to measure my items and put measurements in the listing. I really like to do this because I feel like it's very precise. So um, a good little tool and it's actually pretty cheap. I sold this for um, $19.95. The buyer was all in for $26.05. It sold in 10 days and I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. The next item is this UPS trucks and stuff. This came from a mystery box, a thrift store mystery box. And I actually unboxed those thrift store mystery boxes over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. So if you guys like that kind of content where I'm just, um, what I do is I go to the thrift store, they have mystery boxes. Sometimes it's toys, sometimes it's Christmas, sometimes it's Halloween. And I basically come home and I record myself unboxing it. It's really fun. Um, a lot of times I get junk and a lot of times I find some decent stuff, but they are definitely fun to watch. So check that out. There's a link to that channel down in the description. But this is one item that came out and the comparables for this actually surprised me a little bit. 
but I couldn't figure out how to get the thing together. So I don't know if it was broken or if it was just, I didn't know how to put it together, but this sold in seven days for $24. The buyer was all in for $33.72. The next item that sold, it, this one is funny. Um, and I'll tell you why. I sold this really, really fast. It sold in one day. I'm going to try to look up that other listing real quick for you guys so I can make sure I show you on my phone. Um, but I got this at a thrift store. I did pay up for it a little bit. I paid $4 for it, which is kind of funny because you guys are probably thinking $4 really isn't that much, but um, I'm kind of cheap. Okay, hold on. I want to pull up the one that I missed. So this video will actually have 21 items in it. Um, so. I said something really silly the night that I was listing this too. I'm not even going to mention it. If you guys want to go watch some replays of my live shows, uh, it was really silly. We'll just leave it at that. If you were there, wow, right? Um, okay, so $39.60, the buyer was all in for $50.28. Um, I'm going to go full screen and show you guys this other one here. So this item... I got it in a state sale. I think it was like 50 cents and I sold it for $65. The buyer was all in for $74.66 and it sold in six days. It is a Fisher Price Puff -a Lump plush toy zebra horse from 1991. If you guys see these Puff -a Lumps that are kind of like a nylon parachute material, definitely grab them. They are a bolo. This thing had like some issues and it still sold for that much money. All right, let's get back to it here. Um, all right. The next item came from a Facebook marketplace. Um, I actually did an unboxing on this channel. Um, I had a contact that I had purchased, not really a contact, but I had purchased some stuff from someone on Facebook, just going through the ad a while back. And I did a video on it. Um, it's way back on my channel, but I told her if you ever have more stuff, please reach out to me because I would be interested. And she reached out to me. She didn't even post it on Facebook. She just said, hey, do you want to come get this bag for 20 bucks? And I was like, yes. So if you want to see that full video, go check it out. Um, there was one item that I parted out, which I, I made really good money on. So I talk about that in the video. I show you guys comps of everything and what sold. So it's educational as well as an unboxing. So this is from a game and the game was in there. It was incomplete. It typically comes with four nets, I do believe. So what I did is I took off the trunk. I grabbed the two nets and I grabbed, I think these are called butterflies. And I went ahead and listed it as replacement parts. You guys, this sold in one day for $14.40. The buyer was all in for $22.04. Here is another item that came from that same sale. I told you I parted an item out. Um, this is part of that. It's the Doc McStuffins Baby All-in-One Nursery, and I tore it apart. Um, if you want to see more details about that, you can check out that video. But this sold in 10 days. Um, Oh, I'm sorry, for a best offer of $10 and the buyer was all in for $16.99. So this is a replacement part to that toy set. I love this one. This is vintage Big Feet's Wishbone Jack Russell Terrier Dog. It's a little stuffed animal from 1997. And boy, oh boy, this little guy, he sold fast. He sold in 10 days for $32. The buyer was all in for $41.23. And I was on during my live show. I think somebody said this was maybe a TV show or something like that. I had never heard of it. So I was really excited about how much that sold for and how quick it sold. The next item is this Raggedy Ann and Andy. I got these at a garage sale. Um, I went to this garage sale and it was packed with vintage toys, but they had a collection of Raggedy Ann stuff. And my friend, uh, Chosen Goods reseller, Carissa, loves Raggedy Ann. Well, at least she did at the time, but I sent her some photos and I'm like, do you want any of this stuff? It's half off today. So, um, she told me what she wanted. I gave her a total and I, oh my goodness, you guys, this box took me like an hour to ship because there were some breakables in there and I was trying to get it all in one box. So the shipping would be cheaper for her. 
Oh my gosh, it was a mess. But um, this is one of the items I kept that she did not pick that she wanted. So I bought it to resell. And I sold this for $36. The buyer was all in for $45.30 and it sold in 10 days. And I paid $5 for this. And if you guys want to see all of the Raggedy Ann items that she, per or she didn't, I, I bought them for her and she paid me back for the items. I didn't charge her anything. And then I also threw in some freebies, um, but it took her like six months to unbox it. So by the time she unboxed it, neither one of us could remember what the freebies were, but they were in there. So go check out her channel to see that unboxing. Again, that's Chosen Goods reseller, uh, Carissa. And she has a live show also on, um, oh my goodness, I just drew a blank. Is it Tuesday or Thursday? Oh my gosh, it's Thursday, Thursday morning. Um, I think it's, I am blanking out right now. Um, it's at noon Eastern Standard Time. Sorry, you guys, I'm mixing up my live shows and all of that stuff when I do my premieres. Um, okay, so this t-shirt, you guys, I don't pick up much clothing anymore. Mm, excuse me. Oh my goodness. Uh, but I saw this at a thrift store and it was like 50 cents and it was vintage and I had to grab it. Beware of dogs. I think this is a Cleveland Brown shirt. Yeah. When I looked it up, it said Cleveland Browns. So I don't know. I threw the tape measure across it, put some measurements on there, used my background. Um, I used photo room to give it a white background and it sold in one day, you guys. One day for $20. The buyer was all in for $27.67. So that was awesome. Here's another Doc McStuffins thing from that same nursery replacement parts. Um, sold this for $13. The buyer was all in for $19.72. And this sold in four days. All right, you guys, that was 21 instead of 20. My mistake there. Um, items that sold on eBay. So let me know what you guys think about the 10 days or less videos. Do you like it? Um, I, I don't know. The fast sales, I'm really, I'm really liking them. So leave me an emoji of a hat if you made it this far. And as always, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share it out if you know somebody that might be interested in the channel. Thanks for watching.